Surprise your family and friends at your next picnic or family gathering with this Snickers apple salad. We're not trying to fool anyone. This is more of a dessert than a salad, but you can put it out as a side dish or serve it up for a dessert. There's one thing that we know, your guests will love it. Let me show you how to make it. This is a pretty quick and simple salad. You'll just need a large bowl and to the bowl, you're gonna add one large box of vanilla instant pudding or two small ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in there and then add in half of a cup of milk in 16 ounces of Cool Whip. Now, if you would like, you can whip some heavy cream and powdered sugar together to make your own homemade whipped cream. If you don't like to use Cool Whip, that's totally fine. But to keep it quick and easy today, we're just gonna use store-bought whipped cream. Fold that together. The mixture will turn just a little bit of a yellowish color from the pudding, and you just wanna make sure all of that powder is mixed in. Once you've done that, go ahead and set it aside and we will chop up the Snickers bars. We like to put about 10 full-size Snickers candy bars into our Snickers apple salad. So just unwrap the candy bars, cut them into chunks, And then as you cut them, add them into the salad. You can make the ratio of apple to Snickers bar a little bit different if you'd like. We like about 10 Snickers bars and four to five apples. It really depends on how large the apples are that you have. Now I'll chop these last two candy bars, but I'm actually gonna save them and sprinkle them on the top of the salad once it's totally put together. When you're done with the candy bars, it's time to do the apples. So take four apples, four or five, depending on how large they are. Make sure you've washed and dried them. Take an apple little tool here that um, cores and slices the apple. And just go ahead and push down. Continue that with all of the apples. Once you have the core out of all these, you can go ahead and chop them into little bite-sized pieces. And then throw those little pieces right into the salad. Now the apples in this salad will turn brown as the dessert sits. So you will want to make this the same day that you are going to serve it to your guests. We are using Granny Smith apples because we love the tart apple flavor with the sweet, um, cool Whip and Snickers bars. If you'd like, you can use another type of apple. Honeycrisp is always good and Gala apples are good too. Because this isn't a cooked dessert, there's really no reason to peel the apples. If you wanna take the time to peel them, you definitely can, but the peel stays nice and crisp in the dessert. We'll add those last apples in and give the dessert a good mix. The first time I had this salad, it was sitting with the side dishes and I actually thought it was a potato salad. So you can imagine my surprise when I took a bite and realized how sweet it was. After you've mixed the salad, it's time to sprinkle some extra Snickers bars on top and then make it extra delicious with a little drizzle of caramel sauce. This apple dessert is perfect for fall. Let's give it a try. I'm Julie from Taste of Lizzie Tea. Thanks for watching today. Be sure to like, subscribe, and check back next week for a new video.